Continuing our answer writing session, here we have another question based on what was what is the role of human development index, the vectors and the India's position. Now here the answer starts with what is HDI and uh, the top ranking nations in HDI. How do we measure HDI versus GNI? This was the introduction. Then the role of uh, HDI is mentioned followed by the vectors and then the India's stance. So technically this answer actually incorporates all what is asked in the question. So definitely that is the foremost thing very very important. So on that grounds I can say this answer is a relatively good answer. But the improvements that we can make here. So the first is what is the role of HDI? So when we start with HDI, this introduction of first line is enough. Okay, top ranking nations could be mentioned later when we are talking about India's stand. Okay, or India's position. At that point, we can mention this. To measure development when we are giving a diagram saying HDI versus GNI, we need to understand that what is GNI and why we are saying this is based on qualitative and quantitative. So if you are introducing any term, make sure you are introducing it in detail or else don't bring it. Okay, so this is incomplete. Okay, the next important thing is the role of HDI. The role of HDI here. Uh, the four points are given and in the fifth point they have talked about growth versus uh, life expectancy okay now all these points examiner won't have time to read line by line okay so what can be done is comparison between similar economies is allowed on the basis of development promotion of development of humans in the key areas now all these statements I can say are uh, uh, the same or the similar statements being picked up from different angle and being mentioned. So make sure you do not do that. You have unique own points and then underline those important sections. So for example, here it is expanding choice of human. Okay, so expanding choices is the key point that you can allow. Uh, you can underline allow comparison is another important point. Okay, so here what we need to understand is either underline those or bring those uh, in the beginning. So uh, expansion of choices, for example, you can write it as expansion of choices put a colon and then write the rule okay when it comes to vectors all the three vectors the sub vectors are perfectly explained through the through this diagram so no issues here the only thing is improvement here is the formula for the hdi is missing you can also introduce the formula here the next important thing is india's stand now when we are talking about india's stand we say india is the sixth largest economy and uh, the hdi ranking for the india what can be done here is bring in a temporal analysis over the time periods how things and scenarios have changed so make sure you bring those into uh, account here okay so that is something which is missing here then uh, low expenditure of india in public health so bring a comparative figure uh, we have already covered one of the lectures where we discussed about india versus other nations and the comparative understanding on hdi so just simple statistics would help increment your answer in a great way so uh, this is something that can be taken into account uh, and the similar thing goes for gender disparity regional disparity also uh, state wise data can be brought state wise information can be introduced here when we are focusing on regional disparity so those are some of the key elements that we uh, mentioned and then definitely indian policies for example the national health policy ayushman bharat beti bachao beti padhao so based on education for health there have been different schemes and programs so definitely mention those uh, plus plus to your answer but those are some of the recommendations to this answer but as i broadly said uh, what are the key things that you need to take into account is answer based on what is asked in the question and then proceed forward so this was some of the small suggestions and definitely if you are looking for evaluations uh, we do provide one-on-one -on -one personalized telephonic feedback for each of the answer writing uh, the details are available below wish you very good luck